Hello YouTube! Time for a video again! Anyway, like, here we are at Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie's tank. Everybody always says they like Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie, me dove eye. I'm sat a bit too close. Because um, I can't get too far back. Because this is my, in my little skinny hallway. And I've got my back up against the wall. Anyway, today, I think I'm going to talk about... Uh, getting a compatible pet. Look at them, look. They're in love. Uh, getting compatible fish. These two have lived together all their life, basically. About, about eight years. Anyway, uh, how do you get these aggressive fish to live together and uh, not kill one another? Look at them, look. So these have, these have been together for eight years. She's got that little uh, pot to go in. But I paired these off many years ago. And you know, all that time I've kept them, I've only had to put a divider in once. So we'll uh, discuss how to uh, pair aggressive cichlids. They're probably just like people. You can't just put... Uh, um, a boy and a girl, a male and a female, together, and think they're going to uh, get on. The bloody fight like cats and dogs. And the fish are just exactly the same. But uh, to get a breeding pair, the best my method is, is uh, don't interfere, interfere. Let nature, let nature do the work. Anyway, he do, I don't think he likes me sat here. I'm going to sit at the end of the tank and uh, put some food in. Right, I'll move the other end of the tank there. Anyway, everybody see Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie time and time and time again. They get on together mostly. And uh, they have fry on a regular basis. There, there's some fry. Look, when I say they're fry, they're the sort of, uh, they're the size. It's when, when you go to your local fish store or whatever, or order fr uh, fish online. They're normally the size you get them. Anyway, let's, let's chuck a bit of grub in. I can't, I'm doing it one-handed again. There we go, we've got some, uh, that's muscle. Muscle meat. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. What am I talking about? Yeah, like, uh, pairing these fish up. You can't just, uh... You can't just put a male and a female together in a tank and expect them to get on. You have to uh, pair them off. Na in my opinion, the, the best way to do it is do it naturally. Let them sort it out for themselves. So we'll uh, show you some examples and uh, show the projects what i got going on. And uh, go forward. Let's get on it. Right, I'm at the Umbi tank. This is an excellent uh, example of uh, growing six to eight juveniles on in a, a tank and letting them uh, pair up naturally. So we've got, uh, this is a wild warrior, male Umbi. He's about 10, 11 inches. And uh, this is my blonde female. These were paired up by myself. And at the moment, as we speak, there's a wigglers hatching, and they're removing them. So, like, I hope you can capture that on there. There's all that that piece of pipe is covered in spawn, and they're all hatching out, hatching out at this as this moment we speak, and they're moving them along into this little pit. What they've uh, dug. Right, I'm going to try to get this in focus. There, that's that's the best focus I can get. So I hope uh, you can. Oh, I can see them wiggling. I hope you lot can. There she comes. Spit some more out. And what I have noticed today. Come on, wild warrior. He actually does it. I thought his job was just to keep guard and be aggressive. And chase intruders off. But he actually. Uh, I've seen I've seen him pick some fry up, not as many as the female. 
he's actually digging, he's digging some gravel. Anyways, like, uh, to get a comp, I still have uh, a back, I still have uh, all the pipes and pots in here for the female, in case it goes uh, tits up sort of thing. But, uh, you know, there, there she goes, look, uh, collecting the fry. So at the moment, these are getting on really, really well. But you always have to have a, a divider on hand in case it really goes tits up. And he's digging. Can you see that? They're spitting all the, all the uh, gravel out. It's preparing another pit up here to, to put the fry, I'd imagine. Anyway, uh, I'm waffling on again. Let's get a move on and uh, show you some tanks. Well, I'm growing juveniles on to get compatible pairs in, for the future. So this is an, another good example of a compatible pair. Like, look at them now. Like, uh, inexperienced fish keeper might think, well, they're fighting. Well, fish do fight like that, but this is like a spawning uh, activity. She's gone lovely and black, and they're basically showing off to each other. These are fish what I've paired up, paired off, and uh, with a method. Well, I shall show you. Yeah, so when you see them showing off like that to one another, it's uh, a sign not they're getting ready for another spawning. Well, she's hiding in there at the moment. She normally lays her eggs in there. But uh, anyway, I've got three projects going on. Look, there's still some fry in here from the last spawning. Not many, but there's one or two. Anyway, I've got three projects going on, and I'll uh, I'll show you. Right, this is this is just another quick example of a compatible pair. What I own, but I've got to add my hand, hold my hands up. But this is uh, not my work. I bought these as a compatible pair. Right, this is my project number one. This is my red Parachromus dovi. So uh, it's just a coincidence, all the three projects I've I got going on at the moment, they're all Parachromus species. That wasn't planned, that's just how it is. Because I love the Parachromus species, as well as the amphs and that. Anyway, so the best way to get a compatible pair, like Mr and Mrs Wolfie, is that uh, you buy six to eight, six to eight juveniles, or six, six is enough, and fill the aquarium with uh, loads of hiding places, like 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 in here. I mean, maybe I could do with some more. They don't want to be great big massive p pots, so uh, other fish can see in and that. They want little little nuts and crannies where they can hide and the other fish can't see them. So they'll uh, all ha have battles, little fights. There's one got in that pipe. And sort sort the compatibility out. I can see one peeping out here. Yeah, sort the compatibility out. You can't just put a male and a female in the tank and expect them to get on. Bit like human beings, really. They've got to, they've got to uh, learn to live with one, with one another. Bloody hell, it took me ages to learn... With, Learn for me to learn to live with my bloody missus. We used to fight like bloody cats and dogs, I'll tell you. She was always packing up, she used to come round and see me at the weekend. We had an argy bargy, and then she would pack a suitcase and go home. So, like, it takes a, a time. So, uh, so this is a uh, my red dough, guys. So, you want hiding places, loads and loads of them. There's actually six in here. And they're all uh, hiding, but uh, they'll uh, they'll pair off eventually. But when they do pair off, let me put some food in before I keep going on. Let I'll put some food in. Pause. Right, I'll put some uh, chopped up worms and prawns. There's six in it here. One, two, three. I can only see four, but there is six. There, there they are, look, four. Anyway, where was we? Yeah, so when they do pair up, don't be any in any rush to remove the others. 
they'll get very aggressive towards the others, but I, I think if you remove them straight away, the uh, pair bond doesn't get really strong. The pair bond will get really, really strong when, when they're defending the spawn and territory. So I let, leave them in as long as possible. Obviously, we don't want to see any casualties. But uh, so if two pair off, if you remove all the others straight away, sometimes the pair bond breaks down and then uh, it's been a uh, well, failure, really. The longer you can leave the other ones in, the better. So we've got one, two, three. There's one just put his head in that pipe, and there's another one. I'll just see another one over here. So there's six. So six is a, a really good number. You should end up with a pair with six. Anyway, I'm, I'm waffling on too much. We'll move to, we'll move to another what uh, tank. Like that. We'll, we'll look, talk about O's. Right, where we at? here we are at the Red Togamoto tank, project number two. Parachromus, uh, mo Motorguents. Yeah, let's see something like that. Yeah, they've got Managuents, Jaguars, Motorguents. Anyway, I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't said. So, like, I've got about uh, eight juvenile uh, Togamotos in here. And they're all, uh, they've all got the little hiding places, nuts and crannies. I cannot stress, the more hiding places, the better. I can't, I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't said. So the, the, these videos, what I do, are all just like uh, off the cuff. I don't plan them. They're all hiding. They're all hiding an embarrassment to my mate. Well, it, it must be me uh, shouting or whatever. Anyway, they'll... Uh, that they're in here and they'll put they'll fight and uh, do battle and pair up but it's, it's not just a it's not a, a fail safe way of pairing the fish up they'll pair up and spawn without a shadow there's some coming out now they'll pair up and spawn without a shadow of a doubt but you've always got to have a backup plan and you've always got to have a divider on hand that these spawning attempts can go uh wrong at any one time any one time so you need a, a divider anyway I, i'm trying to rush this one there because there's nothing looking at this tank let's move on to another tank well this isn't project number three this is my other pair of haitiensis well this uh aquarium is full of uh rocks and that but i've i've uh i've took well it, it was i had double amount of rocks the uh, HNS is what I showed you earlier. These were paired off in this tank. And uh, I removed them and then these two are paired off. So like uh, all the hiding places, you need the hiding places. But like I said, look at them. They're doing the same the ones, the ones that I showed you earlier. People think they're fighting, but she's gone jet black. And he's looking lovely and white. So that I bet they're ready for a spawning as well. Anyway, let's move on and show you the project number three. Right, I just put that on pause, but I didn't even need to because my Freddy tank is uh, right next to these. We'll move across. Here they are, look. I just put some uh, small food in there. So this tank is similar to the Red Dovi tank, full of all the uh, hiding places. The more hiding places, the better. You can never go over the top. If you're trying to pair fish off, you can never go over the top with uh, hiding, place bit, hiding places. But what I do want to say is, uh, well, I hope I'm not coming across as like a, a Mr. Know-it-all sort of thing, because I don't. Because these these pro this is the best way I've found to do it, and uh, these projects go uh, completely wrong on occasions. I hope that's in focus. Yeah, they go completely wrong. You you uh, were they, they all pe the pair up and spawn. So you really got to have a divider or a backup plan, because uh, when they want to spawn. 
if the female doesn't want to spawn, the, the male's going to uh, want to. Uh, well, he's going to. That's when they do. They do kill each other. So I'm telling you how to get a compatible pair. When you, even when you've got a compatible pair, it can it can go completely, completely and utterly wrong. So I don't want people to think that oh, oh I know <laughs> like uh, like fail safe way. You know, like I'm fail safe. I know it all. I bloody don't, mate. I le I learn stuff every day. Anyway, before we go, I'll just. Uh, if you've not got a compatible ship pair, I'll show you another way you, you uh, can uh, breed these cichlids. Like, introducing adults. So I've got a Trimac in there. He's hiding there and he's shit scared, actually. And then we, we, we've got the uh, hole in the divider method, which is another story. I've done the uh, hole in divider methods before. On videos, that's the female. She she goes through there and she uh, interacts with the male, and then when it goes wrong, she'll go back. Anyway, that's another story. I've done the whole in the divider methods before, so check some of the my old videos there. Anyway, uh, we're about time to wrap this one up because I'm waffling on too long again, aren't I? As always. Right, try. Time to wrap the video up now, like. I'm in, in, in front of me, Chancho and Convicts. So the moral, moral of the story is, uh, let them pair up naturally by themselves. And the main thing is, always have a backup plan. You've got to always have a backup plan because they're going to, uh, it's going to go tits up. I don't want people to think, like, uh, I know it all and... Uh, Never a problem. I tell you what, mate. I bet I've had more problems than all of you put together. So there's the old big old Chancho. People have said it's either it's either father of them, and the, the people don't keep fish. I'll say no. He's a, a convict on steroids. Anyway, yeah, you're waffling on again too too much woods. So like uh. Yeah, you know what, just uh, always be careful, always keep an eye on them. If you've got a compatible pair, you've still got to keep a close eye on them. So, like, uh, I'm waffling on too much. I bet this video has gone on miles too much. So, like, uh, happy fish keeping to you all. Thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, until next time, I'm uh, happy fish keeping. Ta-ra!